Hold it right there. Turn out your pockets. Open your mouth. Police searches have hit the headlines around Australia in recent years. Three boys were strip searched. Drugs at music festivals has not deterred our youth. Ten others rushed to hospital, suspected of overdosing. Most media attention has focused on New South Wales, where the number of strip searches conducted by New South Wales police has increased 20-fold. The number of standard searches being carried out is also increasing, despite the fact police may only search someone in specific, exceptional circumstances. Many of these searches are carried out on young people who may not fully understand their legal rights. But there are plenty of Australians of all ages who don't know their rights in a police search situation. Would you know what to do? There are strict laws governing what police can and can't do during standard searches, and even stricter ones relating to strip searches. You can find the New South Wales version of these rules in the Law Enforcement Powers and Responsibilities Act, also known as LEPRA. LEPRA says police can carry out a search on a person or property if they have a warrant to do so, but they can also stop, detain and search you if they think you're carrying items that could be used in connection with an offence. Maybe they think you have drugs, weapons or stolen goods. Police can search you if they have a reasonable suspicion that you have something illicit in your possession. Now, reasonable suspicion is more than just believing that it's possible that you have something but police do not actually have to believe that you have such an item in your possession. A suspicion is all that's required, but that suspicion has to be a reasonable suspicion. So a standard search would be a pat-down search. Police can ask you to remove an outside clothing, such as your jacket or your hat, and then can pat you down to see whether they can feel any potentially illicit items in your possession. Many searches begin in situations where a sniffer dog has indicated a person might be carrying something illegal, like drugs. Day and night in our communities, behind prison wire, at airports and in the great outdoors. It's always a good day at work for the dog squad. Police use sniffer dogs for general drug detection in places like sporting events and festivals. And if a dog indicates you, this may give police grounds for a search. They can pat you down, look in your pockets or bags, or look in your car. And they can also ask you to open your mouth or shake your hair. New South Wales law says police should only use a strip search if the urgency of the situation requires it. They should only conduct strip searches in the field, that is somewhere other than a police station, in very urgent situations. And for children under 18, police need to ensure a parent or guardian is present to conduct the strip search. But recent investigations into police conduct have found many officers are not following these rules. The most alarming aspect of what we discovered is that strip searches had increased 20-fold uh, in just over a decade, going from 277 strip searches in, in 2006 to over 5,500 strip searches in 2018. What we also discovered is that police may not be meeting legal thresholds and that uh, particularly young people and Aboriginal people are disproportionately overrepresented when it comes to strip searches. There have been public hearings about strip searches in New South Wales, and uh, the testimony given by police officers demonstrates that police not only don't understand uh, strip search law, but are not applying the law properly in practice and are not meeting the required legal thresholds. If a police officer indicates they want to search you, it's a good idea to ask for the officer's name and station. You can let them know you don't consent to the search, but it's still best to follow their directions, even if you don't agree. Otherwise, you might risk being charged with other offences. There are a few things you can do to protect yourself. Ask them to turn their body camera on. Most uniformed police in New South Wales wear these. Try to keep a mental note of everything that happened and call a lawyer if you have concerns about the legality of the search. Thank you.